What this machine is doing is it's combining the soil and the cement and the water. When it comes out of here, it's ready to go in the block machine. We, uh, there's a belt that runs under the whole machine that's bringing everything forward, okay? The belt is pulling the soil that's in that big hopper forward. It's pulling it past the smaller hopper, which you see in front of the big hopper, which is where the Portland cement is. The Portland cement hopper has a small auger in it, which feeds the Portland cement down onto the belt. You can see it where it's coming out, or you've got the soil and a little gray stripe on top of it. How do we get the percentage? We calibrate the machine before we start. And what we do to calibrate the machine is we push the auger back in under the machine where it's stored. We put soil only in the hopper. And then we turn it on and we got people underneath here with buckets and they're catching the soil when it comes out. And I'm standing there with a stopwatch and we run it for exactly 30 seconds, stop. And then we weigh the buckets. Then we take the soil out of it. We put Portland cement only in it and, we, and then we do the same thing again. If the 30 seconds of soil got us, you know, 110 pounds of, of soil, then we take 110 divided by 0.93 if we want 7% or 0.94, what's it, you know, you get the idea. And then that's going to get us, you know, 122 pounds and then, so we need 12 pounds of cement, okay? So then we do the same thing. We, the auger's back in, we take all the soil out, we fill the cement hopper, and then we run the stopwatch again for 30 seconds and we go, gee, we needed 12 pounds and we got 16. Oh, the auger's running a little fast. These, these valves underneath that box right there, we can control the speed of the belt, we can control the speed of the auger, and we control the speed of the auger that's in the Portland hopper. So we combine those till we get our 7%, then we just stay there, okay? Then the water on this machine, it's kind of a manual deal. You see Austin messing around with it. You see our very fancy water dispenser there. It's a piece of PVC pipe with some holes drilled in it and a garden hose running from this tank over here where we have a sump pump that runs off the generator. We have no power out here and no uh, water. So it's, uh, it's the generator to the sump pump into the tank, back through the hose, and to here. Now, what he's been running the, this thing. He shut it down, so I guess he's happy. Um, and so how much water did we put in? Well, we're not sure. When I was talking about hand mixing before, it was 10% and we'd get it exact. This is pretty good. Okay, so when you squeeze it, you should be, when you let go of it, it should hold its shape, okay? Which it did, but it should be also be very easy to knock it apart like that. It's just a feel thing, <laughs> you know? And if you start making blocks, you'll figure out what that is pretty quickly. Uh, the machine will tell you, the block machine will tell you if you're too wet or too dry right away. Because if you're too dry, the blocks are gonna come out and the edges will be dry and friable and you can just knock them off. You don't have enough moisture. If you've got too much moisture, the block will come out and it'll start cracking pretty quick because the, the clay is shrinking right away. And you'll see some, I mean, it, it won't break open, but you'll see these little spider web cracks on the top. It's too much water. So in case you, you blew it here, the machine's still gonna tell you, you know, oops, too much, too little. So we adjust until we get it where we want it. Now Austin's gonna fire up the machine. We're gonna pick this up and put it in a little red, make some blocks.